Hi all, welcome to my new little vlog. Right before us, I've actually finished making the mock-up of a waistcoat. I, I draped this, so you'll be able to see on my time-lapse video how I've draped it. And now I've just made a little mock-up of it, just to check it on the, on the dress form. Now, it's got to go on a real human figure next week, so we'll, we'll decide if the balance is correct and I've got to proof everything. If the fit is good, then I'll take it apart and start making a beautiful waistcoat and beautiful wool fabric so you'll see that now this little design here I've just done a little short collar here I've done it quite low but I may come up higher I'll tell you why in a minute so this is just but this could be for my second design so I'll see how this pans out with this jacket I'm going to put on so this is a short collar I've draped and then I've done like what we call a princess seam line princess line it's gone over the bus but instead of going right down i've curved it back in give it a little designer touch and this echoes on the back here you can see it's gone down and gone back in now this back is actually this this back here is in one piece but it will be in a, a, another piece another section it'll have a center back seam and the reason being is once i've got it on the model i'll pin her along her spine and I'll get the curvature of a spine, so this will be more shaped in. And that's what I do. And most waistcoats have got a center back seam, and that's the reason being, because it shapes actually into the spine, getting better fit. Also, you can see I've left it quite big here, and I always leave it a little bit big surplus because I never ever cut shaped side seams, never. For all my dresses, couture dresses, waistcoats, whatever, blouses, shirts, I always leave a straight line, straight, straight down. So you can see the side seam is straight down. When it's actually on the real human figure, then I'll take it in according, accordingly to how much I want to suppress it. So how much I want to suppress it, I'll pin it. You can see, and then I can suppress it that much or I can suppress it a little bit. So I've got total control. So that's what I'm going to do actually on her. So there we have that waistcoat. So I'll just put the jacket back on. Some of you will have seen me drape this as well. So I've draped the waistcoat and the jacket. The only thing I don't drape is the trousers. I've got my own system of cutting, which I teach. I've got a good system of cutting trousers and they're, they're quicker than draping trousers. It's a lot too long-winded draping trousers. So that will be my, this will be a two button jacket here. So it's come slightly lower but I may, I may bring this waistcoat up, or my second design, I may bring this waistcoat right up here on the actual the lapel roll, roll on. I might bring it up here. We'll soon see how I feel. So there we have that. So that jacket will be there now. But I never ever do up the jacket, so that jacket will be left open to show the waistcoat. So I may bring this waistcoat up higher, up here, so it'll be more closer into the centre front line. We'll see how I feel. So there we have that, everyone. So, and that's it. So we'll have them fitting next week with a real human. And then you'll see me cut out and you'll have glimpses in the real bespoke world how we actually make the waistcoats and jackets and trousers. So I'm going to show you my little method. So on that note, everyone, I will see you soon. And ciao for now. Thanks. Bye.